the No Homo podcast with Studs hosting it and they got Taco as a guest, girl, I'm going to force my way into this podcast. So we just going to pretend that I'm there in the studio with them and I'm going to join in in the conversation. Are y'all ready? Let's get it. Taco, Yay. we go way back like both flats on the Cadillac. Period. Y'all say it is so good to have you up here today, man. They actually Most requested definitely. for you to come up here. You was on our wish list, but they said, yo, we need Taco up here. Y'all <laughs> saying? So all y'all love, uh, what's your, your fan's name or your supporter's name? I don't even got no name for him. I just call them supporters. I don't really okay. like calling people fans. I yeah, feel yeah. like right. yeah. I'm, I'm with you, girl. Out. It's dumb. Yes, the them. only ones I call my fans are the anti-bliss. They be supporting me the most. They are obsessed with commenting on all my videos. They don't realize that they're supporting my channel by doing that. It's called audience engagement, so thank you. I absolutely love my supporters, but I like my fans for joining in. <laughs> so I'm with you on that. So this podcast is 56 minutes long. We're not gonna go through it all. We're just gonna skip over and get and get to the good stuff. Well, I wanna talk about some of your rants. Let's take it back. Oh, all right, cause your the rants you got a little drink. are funny. I do. Take a shot take for these one. rants. Oh, uh, man. I'm not drinking today, so. I Me know. neither, I ain't Cheers. sipping today. It's got off work. <laughs> if y'all don't know who the fuck Taco is, her story times are the best. Her rants are the best. I just love to hear her talk. Not only do I like her voice in general, but she's very illustrative. She she gives you a full description while she's telling a story. So you can just picture it in your head. And she's funny, y'all. She's not filtered, which is even better. So I like Taco. I think with the gender role shit, most definitely whatever worked for you will work for you. But me personally, I know like, I carry myself masculine, mm. but it's like once people get to know me, they be like, you really feminine as hell. Duh, I'm a pretty princess. Okay. okay. Fucking girl. Like, stop playing. Like, I can relate to that. I'm masculine presenting, but I am full of feminine energy. They call us soft studs. So, however you want to label it. And y'all don't have to label yourselves, okay, if you don't want to. But me, I prefer to. No, I don't, I don't really get into that gender shit because yeah. it just, especially now in this age, you can get canceled quick. Mm. They be trying to get your ass up out of there. Like, oh, you shouldn't have said that studs need to be this way and like that's what made me mad i don't know where they got this ideology that studs are supposed to be the man in a relationship girl They're women tell a me stud about is just it like mm. the label you know what i'm mm. saying but at the end of the day okay by the way the word stud there's a lot of um conversation about that word the word stud originated to describe a man the black culture brought it over to the lesbian community in which they call the masculine presenting black women studs we latinas embrace that word as well we also call ourselves studs so that's why i use the word stud for myself because our community also uses it but i know where it started y'all don't worry don't trip sharing is caring <laughs> i hate that shit too taco i hate that just because we are masculine presenting or we wear men's clothes, these femmes out here be thinking that we that we carry that male role. Nah, bitch, we is women. Don't get confused with the heterosexual relationship that you had before me, okay? Most of these femmes are bisexual and they're the ones that got, that got it a little bit confused. We ain't men, girl. If you want a man, go back over there. Go back. Still all women regardless. Mm -hmm. Bitches, be, they be wanting too much out of like studs. <laughs> I hate that for y'all. They Plus, really do, because I don't want to take, take the, the trash. trash. Yeah, I hate that. Like, yeah, but but if that's something that you are okay with doing and, and holding those responsibilities, that's cool too. Me, for example, I prefer to take out the trash, shovel the snow, pay most of the bills. That's just me as a person wanting to do those things because the feminine women that I'm into, I prefer for y'all to cook because I can't. <laughs> Whatever I cannot do, I hope you can. I could do the rest, you know what I'm saying? It's a balance. We don't have to have these roles in our community, y'all. We're both women. Whatever works for your relationship is all that matters. <laughs> My bitch, you do it, bitch. Like, Everywhere girl. you kill bugs, bitch, I'm scared too. You right. <laughs> mm, good point. See that right there? They expect me to take care of that bug? No, ma'am. I ain't fucking with that shit. I'll point you to the right direction though. And when carrying the grocery bags, listen, I gotta have my feminine women carry the heavier bags because I'm tiny, y'all, I'm little. I'm 5'4 and only 110 pounds. I'm tiny. And most of the women that I go for are a little thicker, you know what I'm saying, they're a little thickums. And most likely they're stronger than me, so come on, y'all. 
it's a balance. You need a little one in all my relationships, so you know I'm scared of that bug. What the fuck? You're taller than me. You, you did it. Facts. I can't even reach it. Facts. That's You're true. almost there. What the That's fuck? You gotta crazy. get it for You almost Hell there. No. You know what I'm saying? That shit crazy. And then I think it's crazy how <laughs> the community be like the most judgmental, right? Facts. Because it seems like from some of your rants that you be getting a lot of backlash for just yeah. being who you are. Must so why, why do we think like the, the community is like the most judgmental when it comes to our own kind? I think with within our community, everybody is still trying to have like that hetero norm normative like mm -hmm. idea. So like we homosexuals, mm -hmm. but Oops. when you see like <laughs> I'm not homosexual. But, okay. I'm when a, you see like the heterosexual people, they be trying to take like the lifestyle of them. So you got a man and a woman. Y'all, mm -hmm. we can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Cause right. at the end of the day, you already made your decision. You wanna be a woman who likes women. Or you want to be a man who likes men, mm -hmm. so just do that. Stop trying to like m mask and like match what the fuck heterosexuals are doing. Right. We're nothing like them. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. But shout out to Ace because Ace did say we all the same. Period. We are. But like at the end of the day, <laughs> everybody got different spirits. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. like I think the backlash come from the idea that everybody just wants to mirror heter heterosexual people, and I don't understand why. If you're gay, you're gay. You're gay because you're gay. So why are you trying to be gay and straight? It's crazy because we out the box. <laughs> Good point. So we're trying to fit roles of inside yes, the box. Yes, I hate that for us. But I think that's why even like within the gay community. The same goes for marriage, for weddings, for example. Y'all don't have to have the bride with the dress walk in at the end. Why can't it be the stud with the tux walk in at the end? You know what I'm saying? We don't have rules like the heteros do. They're just trying to do what their parents did and what their parents' parents did and their, what their parents' parents' parents did. We don't gotta do that. Biggest social lights are the ones that aren't afraid to be themselves. Facts. Because fuck that, I'm gonna say whatever I like. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then people that try to fit to a stereotype, I think they doing it for, for what feel right or what sound right. Yeah. right. True. People don't be comfortable with them with themselves. That's it. It be, it be very personal. Like, I could never <laughs> see myself doing that. Okay, but I'm me. I'm not true. Right. So Most why definitely. are you mad at me for being comfortable with knowing who I am? And you mad. You wish you can go get your nails done. Right. But you're too scared of being judged. But I'm not going to lie. In the beginning, I was like that, too. That's what I, I was going to say. Like, yeah, I had first, to definitely get that confidence up. When you first you. come out, you do feel like you got, oh, am, am I I thought stud? I was the man. Oh, I thought <laughs> I was the man. I'm like, yo, I got to do the whole. that toxic masculinity shit that I be talking about. These lesbians be trying to bring it over here. L leave that to the men. Okay, let them be toxic. We don't gotta prove anything to other women because we're women too. <laughs> you feel me? So I never went through that stage. Today, I got a goddamn, y'all you know saying, get she out of the, up get three under the sink. You know, I gotta give me a wrench under the sink. Oh, I gotta show no. this bitch I am the man. Yeah. For real, for real. Yeah. So how the oil change? <laughs> the oil change is crazy, she right? Up three bitches' cars. You no, know, for oh, real. Man. All right, and then there was another one. I won't read it all the way, but let's just talk about. Um, Domestic violence Ooh. within, you know, the community. Um, is it, I don't know if it's more common because I'm not in, in I've talked head. about domestic violence in our community. I actually brought this up with Krissa and Alexis, which caused a lot of negative and positive feedback. Krissa and Alexis saw my video and they felt the need to make a video because of it. And if y'all want to take a look, I actually talked to a psychologist about domestic violence. So... Go check that out, but let's talk about it. Gotta cut me out laughing because I just laughed at that. Why did I just laugh at? No, that? it's okay. Okay. <laughs> maybe you, maybe you remember what I'm talking about because the rant was funny as fuck. A lot of y'all fans, y'all be popping shit like y'all ain't scared to lose a fist fight. So sis, what's up? You not finna be out here just hitting on me, bitch. We're both women. We're both females. I made it like a little boy, but bitch, up under all this shit, it's a girl. You try me. It's a knockout. Fuck you mean. <laughs> I'm not like trying to Terrible. promote like violence, like beat on your bitch. Yeah. No, nah, I'm just saying, bitch, I am a dyke. I'm a boy and a girl. I will knock your ass out. I had one of my dyke homegirls tell me she ain't hit her whole back. Talking about she's a girl. <laughs> bitch, you a girl. <laughs> I couldn't bring myself to do it because she a girl. I would have knocked that hoe between a washer and dryer. Ho, stop playing with me. <laughs> I couldn't bring myself to do it. Oh, bitch, not me. Fuck is you talking about, bitch? You have a ride at your destination, bitch. I'm finna knock your dumb ass out. Ho, I, I'll bring you. Fuck you mean? It's a Uber, bitch. We finna knock the hoe out together. Now, like I said, y'all, I'm not promoting this shit. 
But listen, <laughs> but man, listen. female, whatever the fuck you is, don't be out here putting your hands on somebody and expect not to get hit the fuck back. You did what I'm saying? God, See, it, okay, so it, let it, me stop it there. The reason why I'm laughing while she talks about this domestic violence she went through is because to me, when I watch her and when I listen to her, I'm watching a stand up comedian. So I don't, I'm not taking it that serious when she's talking about it. But I know it's serious, obviously. So I kind of agree and disagree with that. It's okay to defend yourself. It doesn't matter the gender of your partner. If they're hitting you, you can defend yourself. You're protecting yourself. You would do that out in the streets by if, it, if you were hit by a random stranger, right? Defend yourself. But after that, let that relationship go. Because once it becomes physical, it's gonna be hard to get back. Some people get too comfortable with getting physical with each other. You ever ride this your destination? <laughs> it's between the wash and the dryer. Yo! <laughs> but it's not for nothing. First of all, let's start off. How tall are you? 5'1. Okay. Oh, she's <laughs> little. She's so, short. I feel so little, baby. Yeah. So I'm not gonna lie. First of all, there's some big ass studs. Yeah. You don't need to be beating on your girlfriend. Yeah. yeah I can't stay with right. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm not Especially when, when you know you are stronger than your partner, when you can easily hurt this person, why would you want to do that to them? And they're incapable of even defending themselves. If your bitch weigh in <laughs> more than you, is taller than you, is your height, yes, oh, it's a man. girl on girl fight. Not no, saying it's okay. No. Yeah, definitely. But they got that stud shit fucked up. They really, they really fucking do. I hate that shit for women. Cause like, I don't know. I feel like regardless, keep your hands to yourself. Right. I don't right. really care right. what's going on. But like, exactly. when it comes to like, I'm going to talk about studs and fems. Because like when it comes to studs beating on women, you are supposed to be more of the masculine role. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, if you're taking on that role, if you're portraying that part, understand the that protector. like you could potentially hurt your bitch. Right. You're supposed to be like macho man Randy Savage. You can't be beating on your lady like that, dog. That's crazy. But then even with the films, some films just have crazy ass fucking attitudes. Hell yeah, these these and stunts some be of out them here. be like, at the end of the day, you a girl too, and bitch, I'm about to put my hands on you, like I said in that video. Too comfortable. So I feel like. It go either way with studs and films, but I just yeah. feel like keep your fucking hands to yourself. Exactly. Yeah. You don't want nobody hitting on you. You don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Keep your hands to yourself. But so I have experience because and I've only had three relationships and the first two were abusive physically. And I was not the abuser. Alcohol was usually involved when they would have these little sessions. I would never hit back. I just wouldn't. I just don't have it in me. I'm not a fighter to begin with. Why would I want to hurt my partner back? If I care about you, if I like you, if I love you, I don't want to hurt you. You're the only one that's feeling that way towards me. So the only thing I can do is hold you as tight as, as tightly as I can, grab your hands, block, do a lot of a lot of blocks, but I ain't touching you back. We are both not going to be the bad guy in this story. I am not that type of person. Personally, <laughs> if a bitch hit me, knock your ass out, man. Don't hit me, cause like no real shit. I was in an abusive relationship, y'all. Yeah. Let me tell y'all, that hoe was beating me nonstop. Damn, man. Okay, was she beating you because like you were you at the point where like I'm not gonna hit her, or was it like she she could just beat your ass, or was you like on some stud shit? Like nah, I'm gonna be real. Yeah. When I was dating her, I was like fresh out of high school. She was older, so she had so much more going on than I mm. did. So that was kind of like the controlling aspect. Mm. So me being who I was, such a baby at that time, I was just letting her wild out. Like, bitch, you wanna put your hands on me? I don't care. Like, mm. the bitch had mm. a lot going mm. on for herself. Mm. So it ended up getting to a point where I ended up calling my mama, and my mama was like either you gonna beat that bitch ass or I'm gonna come beat that bitch ass and I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> Cause growing up, my mama always told me, if you get in a fight and you lose, you gonna lose twice. Cause when you get home, I'm gonna whoop your ass. And I used to be like, damn. That's like, a black mama shit right most there. Most definitely. So man, I hung up with my mama. Cause my mama fucking insane. Yeah, I hung up with my mama. To I said, yeah, I gotta beat you up, bitch. My mama <laughs> said so, so fuck it. I, not, I started beating that bitch back up. Because like, it oh, got to- that shit is fucking crazy, man. I obviously don't agree with any of that. I feel like once the domestic violence occurs, let that shit go. Leave, leave. My two relationships only lasted a year and a half. It took a few hits here and there, but I left, okay? Cause we ain't doing that. My relationship after those two was my marriage and that shit never happened. Where we was just in that bitch like every fucking day just got, what's this <laughs> fucking tussling and shit. Oh so yeah, like, and you started getting real crazy, man. I was just like, 
they, every day why though like what what was causing y'all to fight I, I, i've been in a situation where we was like too. every day but she was like drunk every day because right. she was a dancer it's, so she would always come home drunk okay so <laughs> we had the same type of story girl yes one of them was a dancer aka stripper she would drink to get to be comfortable at work and sometimes she would come home drunk and intoxicated because of the alcohol abuse sometimes we would go out and try to go enjoy ourselves and she had no control over the drinking she'd be random she'd be blacking out which is acting fucking wild so I why were y'all every day fighting it was the power aspect she knew that she had so much control and so much mm -hmm. power mm -hmm. over me mm -hmm. so even if i did get to a point where i mustered up the fucking courage to be like you know what i'm gonna pack my shit and i'm gonna go like i'm gonna leave that bitch would just wild out and just hit me in my shit or even Damn. like she would come pick me up from work and I remember getting in the car and, oh my God, I remember being at work and this badass bitch kept following me around the fucking store. She could see into our workplace. Like the way the building was set up, she could see. She mm. saw the bitch literally follow me around the workplace. She, she Most worked. definitely, like damn bitch. So the bitch followed me around the workplace. I finally clock out, I get in the car. She asked me like twice, like why that girl kept following you? And I was like, I don't know, she was just talking. Like we was coworkers, she's just talking. We folding clothes, we working. <laughs> Man, yeah, like, she actually That's in. crazy. Why that bitch kept following you? Before I could even get the question out, she just punched me dead in my Oof. jaw. I said, damn, mm. bitch. Like, because a bitch following me, I'm getting hit. Go hit that right. bitch. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I, I think it was more so just like the fact that she knew she had the power over me. Yeah. And then like me being who I was at that time. I didn't have like the highest self. I'm not who I am now. So mm -hmm. my self-esteem wasn't where it's For at. Sure. I didn't love myself the way I love For myself sure. now. So I was just putting up with it. I was like, fuck it, it is what it is. This girl was very insecure. The only way she felt she had control over the situation is by putting hands on her. She's crazy. Well, listen, y'all, she's getting deep. I'm gonna continue to watch this show, but but I'm gonna end this video here right now. So if y'all want to, go subscribe to Boss Brit and DJ XL. This is their no homo show. Go show them support, y'all, because I actually enjoyed it. All right, y'all, tell me what you thought about this video. Comment below, let me know. See y'all in the next video. Peace.